back to you with another brew. Welcome to the channel. This is the Brewing Brothers. My name is Corey Chuba. I am Tanner Chuba. Today we are doing something weird, not gonna lie. We're doing a carrot wine. I stumbled upon this. I'm the one that spends my time on YouTube figuring out all, all this weird stuff that we can brew up. We have carrots. I, I already did the cutting and, and the ingredients, buying everything. We'll play the videos here. Essentially, what was it? Uh, so for this carrot wine, I used six pounds of carrots. That took me forever to cut. Um, especially putting into this three gallon carboy, you want them small enough to where they gotta fit through the carboy top. So. Uh, it took me a while to cut those up. So six pounds of carrots. We'll put the ingredients up on the screen. We use half a lemon with the skins. We use half a ginger root. It's probably gonna be a lot of ginger, but um, we'll see. I've never done this before. Three cups of white, just normal white sugar. Um, yes, we use one banana with the skins. And add that with skins. And what I'm adding right now, going to be adding just just any black tea uh, this is um, this is for the, the the tannins some people will add the raisins but is for the on. tannic value other people use we oh, have the, raisins. Okay. so we're just using a black tea bag just going to be tossing this bad boy right in here for what reason again for the wine tannins it adds tannic value. Essentially, takes the bite off. I'm not. I'm not. No idea what this is gonna taste like. I've just seen other people add the tea bag, so we'll, we'll see at the end of all of this. But um, I'm gonna mix that up in here. If you have any questions about the tools that we're using, the starting gravity, the whole process, we actually just did a video in the same exact spot, same exact outfits, everything. Um, <laughs> look for it and we'll, we'll post a link to it. Um, but we don't want to go through that whole process again. Mix up all that sugar. I did this yesterday actually. Um, this whole process here. I wanted the carrots and all this stuff to soak up so that I can get a, the most accurate starting gravity reading that I can possibly get. One point oh four eight. I'm gonna do some quick math, but that seems like this is gonna be really good. So right now, if we started brewing, if we had the yeast and everything right now, it only get to about six point three percent alcohol, and it would be rather dry. I'm gonna have two more cups of sugar. I mean, I'm not trying to like. What I'm mostly making this for, you know, summers in six months or so. I don't know, like six months. I just want to have sort of like a nice, refreshing country wine. This is in the country wine category. I'd like to make a beet wine too. I have no idea if these are going to taste that, by the way. I'm the only one that wanted to do this. It's different. It's a total of five cups of white sugar. Don't worry. The yeast is going to break that all down, turn it into alcohol. Hopefully, keeping as much of the carrot flavor as we can get. I mean, I got six pounds of carrots in there, so a lot of the recipes online are calling for like three to five. I wanted to make sure that there'd be some freaking carrots in mine, so we're going to do another gravity reading. All right, stir it up. Now there's five cups of white sugar in there. I'm gonna do another gravity reading. This is, I'm probably just gonna go with whatever it is, but you just wanna make sure you have an, an accurate reading. And my tea bag blew up in there, so. There's now gonna be little black spots everywhere. The black spot. 
bugs, I swear. Oh yeah, now we're now we're talking. 1.082. Do some quick math, see what we can get this up to now. 1.082 minus 1, because that's typically where it ends, times 131.25. We could get this up to 10, maybe 11% alcohol. Some terrible lines. That, that's ideal for something like this. If you watch my mead videos, I try to get my meads close to around 13%. A lot of my great typical wines, I try to aim for around 13%. Something like this is meant to be light summary. It's got ginger, it's got lemon in it, carrots. I mean, I don't think too many people plan on getting plastered on carrot wine. Unless you're a vegan, but I mean, I guess any alcohol is sort of a vegan. I just uh, feel like this would be more of a vegan thing to do, just get drunk on carrot wine. Time for the yeast, and a little bit of that nutrient actually. Now my rule of thumb for adding the super ferment, we do our shopping since we're from the Pittsburgh area at South Hills Brewing Company. Get this, super ferment, one teaspoon per gallon is a good rule of thumb. You shouldn't really have to do this for wines. I've never done a care of wine, so I'm not too sure how fast the yeast is gonna be able to ferment, how fast it's gonna be able to create a colony in here. So I'm going one teaspoon. Mix that up one last time. I mean, it kind of looks refreshing, doesn't it? Yeah, looks like uh, carried lemonade. Yeah. So I'm using Red Star. The reason I believe this is probably going to taste good because we went to Iceland three years ago and they made a tomato beer, which I thought was crazy, but it tasted amazing. Yeah, so, so this is refreshing. So I'm going for definitely a refreshing. I like, don't want it to be It almost seemed hydrating. Like. There you go. I'm using Red Star. I ran out of Lalvin products. I've done an experiment in the past. We'll do a video on it. At least with me. My favorite uh, yeast is 71B, and um, I didn't have any of that, so we're using, I'm going to use half a packet since this is only one gallon. So this is, uh, I'm going to put the bung in and the airlock, good seal, and um, I'll check in on it in a couple days, see how it's going. Welcome back to the Brewing Brothers. This is our carrot wine. It's been about two weeks since we started this. As you can see, all of the carrots have dropped to the bottom. The ginger and lemon, yeah. The ginger and the lemon are kind of floating on top there. Honestly, it looks like puke. Yeah, it doesn't look too good. Um, it looks a lot better than the banana wine that we that we started. That we'll be doing a video on next. But um, yeah, you can see it, the puke on the top. Yeah, it's just kind of. It's got a little bit of orange color to it, which is nice, and hopefully it's it's taken a lot of the carrot taste. That's pretty much what we're going for here. Um, so we're just going to transfer this into this carboy, a one gallon. We should, at least, we should at least have enough. We should at least have one gallon. Here's the siphon. Pretty much just put this bad boy in here. Uh, this has been sitting in... Gee, I like to do it slow so you don't bring up any of the crap on the bottom.
Lemonade. <laughs> some thick Got lemonade. some carrot lemonade here. All right, and we're back. It did not look like we were gonna get a gallon, but here's our gallon. And we're basically gonna trash the rest of this. All the nutrients has pretty much been sucked out of it. <clears throat> and now we're gonna do our gravity reading and some sampling. This is two weeks, so it there is no expectation that this is gonna be good. More likely it's gonna taste like yeast, my guess. Yeah, it's probably gonna taste like yeast, it's gonna taste kinda like a little bit hot. Probably gonna be able to taste the alcohol. Um, actually, we could be able, you know, have to use that. We're gonna take our hydrometer. We went over this. Give it a spin. We are dry, ladies and gentlemen. You can't be saying that, though. Ladies, okay. gentlemen, and all trans people. There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> Moving with the times. It's about at a one. Let's do some quick math here. Ugh. Starting gravity is 1.082. Minus one. That's how you do that. So starting gravity, minus ending gravity. So I'm just gonna go with 0 0.082 times 131.25. So right now we're sitting at 10.76% uh, alcohol on carrot wine. That's a lot. 10? Yeah, almost 11% alcohol on carrot juice. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. Um, so we're probably gonna have to do some back sweetening over the next couple of weeks to like a month or two Maybe uh, add a little bit of honey What's wrong with 10% though? Well, it, it probably it, it seems that it just all the sugar and all the nutrients and of everything in here pretty much ate through all of it So this is probably gonna taste in my opinion. I think this is probably gonna taste hot like You're gonna like taste just alcohol 10% is not hot though Yeah, it's like carrot juice there's nothing to like hide. Your lemons and your ginger. And maybe the, maybe that's what the lemons and the ginger is there for, but to hide the taste of the alcohol. But um, this is 10.76 percent. All right, time for the our favorite part. This is where the fun begins. All right, to our millions. I've never had one of these before, and I don't even know where I'd, you'd, you'd buy one at, so we <clears throat> have no expectations. We're just going off by the smell. <sighs> Heavy it carrots. Like pledge. Really? I don't know what pledge smells like. Uh, it's pledge. What's pledge? <laughs> to make uh, wood clean. Like I mean, it shows you that I don't know, like use it but it you spray it on wood it cleans wood makes it glossy this is more like pledge to you i don't think i've smelled pledge i mean probably but it shows you it cleans wood yeah it's the, the crazy thing is this it doesn't smell like anything like carrots with the I small smell amount of lemons you put in here that's All not right. the small oh yeah you know what there is a carrot smell there i put way more carrots than it asked for so i'm, I'm hoping to at least get carrot you try it no, you can smell Let's the do carrot. a little bit to set the palate. And we'll go in for the big gulp, and that's where you do the... I really don't want to drink this, the grade. to be honest. Here we go. What was that? <clears throat> that was sour. I liked it. This reminds me of like some see, it's, well, workout. See, it's very, what, pre-workout? Not pre-workout, but like, um, like a veggie blender shape. Juicer? No. It almost said, yeah. yeah it's it, gonna be too hard to go off of this because there is yeast and crab still floating in here. 
Like it's not its pure taste yet, so I can't judge that. Yeah, so what we're pretty much gonna do is let this sit for another week or two. I mean, it's gonna probably look beautiful. I mean, that's what it looks like now. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. We'll be doing another video on this. This is just part one. The 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 uh, the initial process of it, pitching the yeast, putting the ingredients together. Now we're doing the racking. This is called the racking process, where you get rid of all the lees, or the lease is what it's called. Basically, all the sediment and all the other garbage that was involved in the primary fermentation. And now we just basically have straight water or straight liquid and the majority of the alcohol here. So um, this is called secondary fermentation. And the, all the alcohol is there. We're just at this point, from this point forward, we're just trying to sort of fine tune the taste. That's sort of the goal of the secondary fermentation and how long that goes. Ready to put another gulp? Yeah, drink it. This, it is even worse than it was the first time. Mm. Honestly, I don't even know if I taste alcohol. I literally feel like I'm drinking like a carrot, celery, lemon, ginger, uh, I don't know, kale. Whenever we used to drink that stuff back in the day, maybe you didn't. I used to blend that stuff up, you know, thinking I'm healthy and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> Working out, just make these blenders. Um, Turmeric and crap in it. This is kind of like one of those vegan drinks. It's all you vegans watching. Yeah, this is right up your alley. Yeah, it might taste good a while from now. And the clarity is definitely clear up. I think it's gonna get really good. I read it too. Oh, it's hard to rate these things at this point, but I don't mind it. Not gonna lie. Um, I could probably drink this. It just has right too much now. lemon. I feel healthy drinking it. The banana one that we're doing next, I don't know if I'm gonna have that same opinion. It looks like garbage. Um, this though, looks like diarrhea. This feels clean to me. Are you drinking that? Are you, are you sick? I don't know. Thing, I think it's shade. pretty good. It's 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 light. It's definitely light. I'd say. The, yeah, it didn't burn like I thought it was gonna. Yeah, there's going to. Do you taste alcohol? Do you? I mean, I don't think you could taste alcohol. But for there being like eleven percent almost alcohol in this. I mean, it's hidden by the lemon. Like sometimes I'll drink mead or wine, and I'm like. So I, I taste can, alcohol. People add lemon and lime to things because it kind of hides the burn, so I think that's why I can't taste it. I'm excited for what this is going to turn out to. So what we basically do here whenever we do our experiments, we start with something like this for the most part. We'll have one gallon for the primary fermentation, <clears throat> end up with about one gallon here, and then I'll probably keep it in here for another uh, couple weeks to a month um, to let all the sediment still continue to fall. And then we'll break it up into two separate half gallons, and then maybe I can just fine tune it there. Yeah, this is uh, this is it for this video. I liked it so far. I'm really looking forward to see uh, what this is going to turn out to once it starts to clear. Um, I think it has potential, but I'm not a fan of it right now. Yeah, I like it just because it tastes like sort of just a healthy, like a vegan shake. So it, it tastes light and tastes healthy to me. Even though I added five pounds of sugar. Is that what I added? <clears throat> yeah, I, I added five pounds of white sugar. But the yeast eats all that. So right now it's, the sugar's turned into alcohol and it tastes pretty nice and light and fresh to me. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. We are the Brewing Brothers. Stay tuned for the next videos.